Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7 of Cryptozoology's Survival Let's Play. In this episode, we're going to be building a warehouse and using it as our storage uh, room, basically. So, uh, right now I'm collecting some warped stem that we're going to be using for the build, specifically uh, the roof. And as you can tell, in this episode, I'm doing things a little bit different. Unlike uh, my past episodes where I'm playing and talking at the same time, I recorded all this footage and then uh, I'm doing the voiceover after. I just kind of wanted to try something new, so we'll see how this episode goes. Uh, right now you can see I'm planning where the warehouse is going to be. And on this warehouse we're going to have a bit of a dock with a boat build as well. So while I was building, I kept hearing these zombie noises, which were super annoying. So I went to investigate, and just under the water, I found a zombie spawner. So with having the spawner here is actually quite nice because it's literally right under where we're building. So we can possibly incorporate it into a future build or something or turn it into an XP grinder. I guess we'll see, but I basically had to fight these guys off so they would uh, stop annoying me while I was trying to build, basically. Quite a few spawned while I was working. But uh, luckily I had my shield with me, so... And uh, my diamond armor that we enchanted last episode so we're quite invincible now and uh there's even a creeper down here but uh after lighting up the cave and everything i went to see what loot there was nothing too great knocked back to not bad uh but yeah so i took the loot and i went back to building and as you can see these uh blocks here represent where the pathway is going to go and then the big big rectangle is the actual warehouse and then the other little square there is where the dock is going to be so I started to bring up the walls and put the floor in just because there was water here and it was uh, making it annoying to try to build here with the, the water. So uh, next I dug down because the water was only one block deep here and I wanted it to be deeper so we could put in a boat. Next I built the dock as you can see uh, using some oak on the sides there I think they added an extra cool detail. Uh, after that I did the detailing on the sides adding in some uh, stone and stone brick you can see a first person view from uh, the dock next I built up the second store using spruce logs strip spruce and you'll be able to see here in a second how it's looking with the windows in as well a bit of a jutted out window in the middle there as well just to add a bit of extra detail and depth next I wanted to see how it'd be looking with the roof so I did the outline using a uh, dark oak and I usually do this before finishing the rest of the build just so I know how it's going to kind of look in the end. As you can see here, it gives me a great idea of how it'll be looking, how tall it'll be and all that great stuff. So here's it with the other side and also another little roof line above the jetted out window just to add a bit of extra detail. And here's where the wood comes into handy that we collected at the beginning really cool having this uh, extra pop of color in our town now with the blue roof I think it looks super cool and I it's my first time building with this new block so I think it went quite well but uh, I just did the one side to make sure it would look okay and uh, after filling in the other side it's gonna be looking quite finished and uh, like an almost finished build and you can also see I did the sides as well Next, I wanted to add a bit of uh, color just to spice things up as well. So I added some flower pots and bushes and it makes it look a lot more detailed and quite interesting to look at. So next, I wanted to add a crane in, which I probably should have done after building the boat, honestly, but I can tell that in hindsight. But I used this design that I saw in an FWIP video once, basically using a grindstone along with a the iron bars you could also use the new chain block and then a fence and using a note block which in the texture pack looks like a crate and as you watch me struggle to get back up on the dock you'll be able to see how it's kind of looking and then we also use trap doors oak and spruce to add a bit of a cage where the things that we would be lifting up would actually be being held so it kind of makes more sense like this and you'll be able to see it looks quite cool Quite a simple design, easy to make, resource friendly, but looks quite cool and has a good result. So now we're going into a bit of a time lapse where I actually build the boat and I'm really terrible at building boats so I wanted to push myself with this build 
even though it's just a tiny one, I just wanted to come up with something on my own. So I used uh, spruce and yeah, I'm gonna just put some music here and you can watch me struggle to build this boat. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it came out okay considering I'm quite bad at building them, but uh, with this I got slightly better at it. So hopefully next time it'll go a bit more smoothly because I kind of want to be adding a few more boats in this area. So I'll definitely be doing that. So enjoy the music while you see me build the rest of this boat. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse and uh, after I threw the boat in, I wanted to start working on the interior. So I was adding a bunch of chests to use for our storage for all our items basically in this area. Sometime in the future we'll probably build an even bigger one but for the time being this will be sufficient and uh, I decided to take a little bit of a break from the interior and throw in a path just so that this building was feeling a bit more connected into the town using cobblestone slabs as a bit of a step up there and uh, that really makes it feel like a lot more like it's uh, meant to be here but uh, yeah after that it was back to the inside where I collected a bunch of item frames using uh, our cow farm that we built and as you can also see here I added a bit of chests and barrels to the outside here just making it look a little bit more like the warehouse is actually in use but uh, yeah so after that I went to well, well I guess I should also mentioned that I built this little upstairs area as well and left a bit of room for future expansion so you can definitely fit a lot of storage in here but it was time to put all the item frames onto the chests and basically after that we needed to move everything over into here from our old house so as you can see I emptied out everything from our old place it took a little bit of time but uh, as we whiz on over to our new warehouse you can see that every single thing is now in the right place all labeled i know where everything is and putting the last few items where they go that i grabbed from the house uh, i'll show you guys that everything is organized we have our tools and stuff there uh, resources for mobs our wood all that stuff cobblestone stone everything is uh here that we need and uh upstairs is a bit of stuff we have our ocean chest and our warp stem and a bit of nether stuff but yeah it's really nice having this all organized and i even threw a bed up here for if we ever need to sleep so after that i wanted to do a bit of terraforming outside of the house to also make this place feel a bit more connected so using some fences here i was marking out where i wanted to put a couple of trees so i wanted to make sure they were in the right space to not really be overcrowding either one of these uh, houses here and also having this lined up perfectly with the other one is not what i wanted because it would look kind of funny so i was figuring out where the best place to be would or the, if i could talk properly if the, where the best place would be there we go so as you can see here i'm just using the fences and some spruce leaves and it creates a quite nice look unfortunately i had to get rid of this uh these bushes in front of the window there 
but uh, using some stone slabs they look kind of like rocks so it adds a bit more like it's a bit of a worn out area or not really walked on as much and uh, kind of rutted out and stuff like that and it makes it look quite cool also using some coarse dirt here just to add a bit of variation uh, in the dirt and on the grass so uh, after this you'll be able to see kind of how it's looking yeah, as you can see it looks quite nice but I had to uh, sleep the night away and then use some bone meal to add a bit of vegetation getting rid of a lot of the grass just so it doesn't look too too overgrown could look a little bit funny especially getting rid of most of the, the tall ones so yeah uh, this landscaping and terraforming does take a bit of time but I think it's quite, has a quite good reward for how much time and effort it takes because it makes your builds look a whole lot better in my opinion so as you can see as we take a step back it looks pretty sweet and uh, right now we're adding a bit of a lamp just so we can have a bit of light and uh, we're going to be adding quite a few more of these throughout the town so they look a lot more in place than just having a couple but yeah it adds some nice ambience there and it's quite cool you can see we have another one by our starter house there so as we dot them out throughout the town that we're building it's going to look a lot better but this is basically where I ended things for this episode. We organized all of our stuff, which is super nice because now we're all ready for future builds. We added this crane and this boat. And I should mention that uh, the wool on the boat is meant to look like it's uh, uh, kind of hung up. So the sail isn't out because uh, they're docked there at the dock, <laughs> of course. So uh, yeah, as you can see with the terraforming and everything, it looks really great. And uh, we're doing a little bit of a bird's eye view using the replay mod, which uh, I use it for the first time this episode, so I'm going to get better at it. But as you can see, we still have quite a bit of room for future builds. We're going to be adding, you know, more houses, more docks, more boats out on the water. And everything's really coming together in this area. I think this new house and the dock and the boat that we build really made this place come to life, in my opinion. But I really want to hear what you guys have to think of it. And I want to hear what you guys want to see me build in this area and in future areas. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, make sure to subscribe and like and stay tuned for future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.